Morning boys and girls, it's Tuesday and we're going to be talking how to make animal feed, food for animals. So we'll sing a few songs with a song in the beginning and with animals in it. All around the world is the first one. Jesus love it is amazing some of those animals you probably did not recognize but we're going to learn a little bit how do we make animal feed all the ingredients was put together for animals mainly cattle and horses and sheep etc and pigs here we go morning boys and girls today we're outside again and we're in a farm but this farm's different it's a farm shop and this is where they actually make meal to feed cattle and to feed horses and to feed sheep. You might recognize a bag of meal. But we're going to see how you make this meal. And we're wearing a little uh, colored vest which says stay farm safe. Lots of machinery, lots of machines. So we've got to be safe as we walk around the farm. So behind me is a door where the, the ingredients to make the meal comes in. And if you look around here, we've got, oh, we've got um, rapeseed, we've got soya beans, we've got maize, 
We've got all sorts of minerals, we've got barley, and all these are all put together and mixed up, depending on what feed you're making. You're going to be making meal for dairy cattle, and you're going to be making meal for beef cattle, for sheep, for horses. So every animal needs a different type of meal, and that's why the ingredients are all separated, put together, depending on the meal they're making. And it's all happening here on the farm, on the factory, and it's very, very interesting. These are very important. The ingredients for the animals so they can be the best possible animal they can be. If it's a dairy farm you want to produce as much milk. If it's a beef cattle you want the beef to be as uh, beefy as possible. Therefore they get the right uh, amount of meal for that animal. So this here is barley and the barley has to be rolled. It's very important because it's not. It has a little fine seed and that will, will not digest in an animal. So it's so important, it's crushed, it's rolled, and then it's put together in the meal as well. In the Bible, one of the most famous stories was the wee boy who gave us five barley loaves to the Lord Jesus. Barley loaves were the cheapest form of bread. Roads you can make, wheat is much better to make better quality bread. But this wee boy give us lunch, give us all to Jesus. And digestion is important. And sometimes in the Christian life, whenever we read the Bible, some people think you just get the Bible and look at it and you've memorized it. It doesn't work like that. It needs to be digested, it needs to be read. You need to pray and ask God to teach you, to help you to understand the teaching and the message of the Bible. He's mixing the ingredients. You can see in the manatee. He's mixing the ingredients to the right, correct precision. The amount of weight is, 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 is so important, like mixing a cake. You need the right amount of flour, the eggs. And when you're making meal for cattle, for animals, it needs to have the proper ingredient. And it's put together in here, and it's all mixed up. So in here is where all the meal has been mixed, all put together. The minerals are added to it for the correct uh, quality of the meal. You can see here the bucket that says minerals only. So the meal, all the ingredients, the minerals are all put together, all mixed up. And then it comes out the other side on the particular meal that it's going to be. Now if you see this big chute up in the top, the, after the meal is all mixed, uh, it's all brought down through the chute and drop down. For example, this is a calf grower, and the little baby calf starts off with the milk, but very quickly it needs to eat the, the meal. It's not going to get fat, it's not going to put on weight, it's not going to grow if it stays in milk. You don't see a big cow out drinking milk. It needs to eat grass, it needs to eat proper meal to grow. And here we've got uh, one for, uh, that's a, for the beef, the beef cattle. And you've got for the yellow bull, and what's this one here? You've got super beef. You see the big beef cattle all over the countryside, and it's a special meal produced for beef cattle. This is a very important one. It's just an individual one uh, used for, for cattle to help them to grow, to help them to thrive, to help them put on weight. If they're dairy cow, to, to, to help them to produce milk. If it's a beef cattle, help them to grow. And the lesson for me, all this here, the finished product, it's got all these ingredients all put together to help to be the best. It's got nuts, it's got flake, it's got the barley, everything in here, and that's the finished product. And if I was a cow or a bull, I would be, it's like, it would be like Christmas. I'd be loving life. But I can't eat that oh, smell. You can smell the molasses they're putting in that as well. The best quality meal is in my hand. And you can see all the ingredients. It's all been mixed, all put together. And that reminds me of a Christian. What's the lesson in our, in our message today? We want to bring in an application. And for me, that's a Christian. You just can't have uh, the different individual ingredients. It has to be put together for the best meal. For a Christian, it's not enough just to sit alone all day long and just read the Bible. A Christian needs to, to read the Bible, most importantly. A Christian needs to pray, to talk to God about what you've been reading. And a Christian must fellowship. That means mixing with other Christians, talking about the Lord. Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So therefore, you have to have joy in your heart, joy in your life. And you need to be telling others about the Lord Jesus. There's so many things that make up a Christian. But some people try to live the Christian life without having Christ in their hearts. They, they think, if I go to church, it's enough to be a Christian. It's not. It's like cleaning a cup. 
Whenever you clean a cup, you just don't wash the outside of it. You've got to clean the inside of it. And whenever I think about all this meal and all these animals, I think of the sheep, I think of the cattle, I think of the horse and think of chickens and pigs, all sorts of animals. They all have their own individual meal, what's best for them. And the Christian, to learn about God, it's important to read the Bible, it's important to pray, it's important to sing, to praise God. All these ingredients together make the most wonderful Christians talking about Him, fellowshiping with other Christians, reading the Bible, praying, singing, worshiping, all these together. And the more you do that together, the better and the refiner you will be. Confession of sin when you do wrong, when you have bad thoughts, keep being clean. If you notice this floor, it's immaculate. Every day this floor must be clean. It needs to be washed. It needs to be hoovered. Otherwise you've got the old dust, the old ingredients that are no longer any good for this particular meal. It needs to be taken away. That's like sin in our heart. It needs to be taken away. And that's why the Lord Jesus died. And he still forgives us. He still takes away all our sin. And we must, to be the best Christian, we must ask the Lord to forgive us, to clean us, and then apply those lessons. Reading the Bible, watching the assembly, singing songs, praying and talking about God and talking to Him. And it will refine you and you will have joy in your heart and life will be so wonderful because you'll put these ingredients right before God. It's wonderful. So this one here is fiber. Fiber is very important. That's like all brand. Fiber is good for the body, just like we have ingredients for our health. It's important to, to eat protein. It's important to eat, uh, drink starch, to drink the milk, and have all your vitamins and uh, everything that's necessary for a healthy human body. That's why it's important to eat your breakfast. It's important to eat your lunch, and it's important to have a good balance. And my wife says the more colors you have on your plate, the better. For example, your greens, your vegetables, your salads, your potatoes, bread. But in here, the ingredients are all put together. And these here are, are fi uh, bran, fiber. Then you've got barley. That's important. And this is the finished product. Whenever the customer, customer comes to buy the meal, they can buy a little bag, 25 kilograms, or they can buy the big bag, almost a ton weight, or they can have a big lorry and go and the chute will open up and fill up their big lorry. Lots of big farmers, dairy farmers, beef farmers, they buy the meal by the lorry loads. So a very, very interesting business about making meal for the cattle, putting all the ingredients together. And the lesson for me is how all the ingredients come together, give the best possible perfect meal to maximize the quality of that animal. And likewise, we need to have the Christian ingredients together. Remember, reading the Bible, praying to God, worshiping Him, praying to Him, fellowshipping with with others talking about him and asking God to forgive us every time we do wrong makes the best possible Christian we can be to shine for Jesus. We're going to feed the wee cow. You're going to love this fruit. Did you enjoy that? It's so interesting. All the different ingredients, the cornflakes, all the food we can recognise. And the calcium and all the different ingredients put together to make nuts and meal so that animals can enjoy their dinner. So we're going to sing another song with animals in it. How many of these animals can you recognise?
That's it for another day. Lovely song to finish with. It's good to be thinking about the animals. I wonder how many of those animals, not only did you recognize, but how many of those names could you spell? Elephant, giraffe, buffalo, gorilla, cockadoo. What? So many big words. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. I just call it a hippo or elephant, kangaroo. Big words, fantastic animals, but can you spell the names of the, some of those animals? That's it for today. We're back again tomorrow. It's Remembrance Day tomorrow. It's the 11th of November. So we're going to have a special one about Remembrance Day. See you.